Hello from beautiful Edinburgh. My name is Jenny. Welcome to The Bear and the Fox. What I would like to do today is share some of our favourite books with you. And today's theme is hedgehogs. So let's get started. First hedgehog book is called The Happy Hedgehog Band and it's written by Martin Waddell with illustrations by Jill Barton. So this book is about a hedgehog called Harry um, and he likes making noise so he builds himself a drum. There's also Helen and Norbert and Billy. They all make themselves some drums and all of their drums make a different noise but then the other animals in the forest come along and they shout stop! because the other animals want to play too. Harry has an idea. He comes up with a different noise for everyone to make. And then they have a mega band with drums and hoots and whistles and the whole shebang. And there's also a dog who was lost in the forest. He doesn't get to play an instrument. He just gets to dance. Tum, tum, ti tum, diddle, diddle, dum, rat a tat tat, boom. So, hedgehog book number two is also about a happy hedgehog. It's called The Happy Hedgehog. It's by Marco Sfista, who's maybe more well known for his book, The Rainbow Fish. So Miko, um, he likes to hang out in his garden. He knows all the flowers and all the herbs and all the weeds by name, and he knows all their healing powers. But his granddad, oh look, there's his granddad. He doesn't look very pleased at all. So his granddad thinks Miko is just wasting his time and he should go out into the world and see what other people do. So off he sets and so he meets a tortoise who his aim in life is to be the fastest and then he meets a badger who wants to be the strongest. I quite like this badger and look at him. <gasps> and uh, Miko thinks none of these animals seem to be having a lot of fun trying to be the fastest and the smartest and the strongest. So he gets back home to his garden and there's grandpa waiting for him and he's not feeling very well. He's got a, a bit of a cough. So what does Miko do? He makes a nice cup of herbal tea with all those herbs and flowers from his garden that he knows so much about. So Grandad drinks the tea and it makes his cough feel better. And he realizes that actually, maybe Miko does, does know quite a lot about herbs and flowers and maybe isn't wasting his time in the garden after all. Hedgehog book number three, this hedgehog isn't happy, he's helpful. It's called The Very Helpful Hedgehog by Rosie Wellesley. And this is about a hedgehog named Isaac. I'm loving all the hedgehog names, by the way. Harry, Helen, Norbert, Miko, Isaac, it's just brilliant. So Isaac the hedgehog, he lives under a tree near a paddock and he just likes being by himself. He, he likes his peace and quiet. So he's having a snooze on an old pile of leaves when thud. This happens, oh no, something has fallen on top of him and got stuck and he doesn't actually know what it is. But then he looks up and he sees the apple tree and he realizes it was an apple. And then suddenly he hears a voice going, hmm, yummy, apples. And something or someone comes and plucks the apple off his back. And it's the donkey that lives in the paddock and he can't reach the apple tree because the apple tree is outside of the paddock. So he's really chuffed that Isaac's come along and brought him an apple. And he's just chatting along and Isaac's not saying anything because Isaac likes his peace and quiet. So he turns around and he walks back to his pile of leaves. And thud! <gasps> Another apple falls from the tree. It misses him this time. So that's good. But then, and this is my favorite bit of the book, he looks at the apple thinks about the donkey and then he rolls over and he makes that apple stick to his back and he goes and brings it to the donkey because he's realised that perhaps it's not that great being alone after all. Hedgehog book number four, it's from the Little Grey Rabbit series and it's the story of Fuzzy Peg the Hedgehog and it's by Alison Utley with um, illustrations by Margaret Tempest. It's just a really cute little story. Which just, I just love the illustrations. It's Fuzzy Peg's um, birthday. So his mom is getting everything ready for the birthday breakfast. And then he goes out to play with his friends. And then the next day after that, his mom sends him on a little errand. And 
then on his way home from the errand, he encounters someone out for a walk with their dog and he ends up being picked up and taken home to that person's house and put under a flower pot in their garden. So now he can't get home and his mum and dad are really worried. So they go and ask Owl for help and Owl flies around and discovers that Fuzzy Peg is in this garden under the flower pot. So then they go, they all go together um, and they rescue him. Here they are, trying to free him from under the flower pot. All's well that ends well. There's a little hedgehog family. It's just a really cute little story. So the last hedgehog book, I've kept the best for last. This is my favorite one. It's called Hedgehog for Breakfast. And it's by Anne Turner with illustrations by Lisa McHugh. And this book is just, it's really clever. And you'll see why in a minute. So it starts off with actually a family of foxes and Papa Fox says, I'd like to have Mrs. Hedgehog for breakfast. I've never had a hedgehog for breakfast before. And the two little foxes, George and Charles, they're sent off to go and fetch Mrs. Hedgehog. So Mrs. Hedgehog, um, Mrs. Hedgehog goes home with the little foxes. And then the little foxes whisper to each other like, how do you cook a hedgehog and in a pot? And she gets into the pot and um, she's having a nice hot bath. So they're trying to cook her and she thinks she's having a nice bath. And then she says, oh, the, the water's getting a little bit hot. So I think I'll get out now. So they're thinking, oh, what do we do next? We've tried boiling her, we've tried roasting her. Maybe we can try baking her in the oven. They somehow persuade Mrs. Hedgehog to get into the oven and then they shut the door. And just at that minute, Mama and Papa Fox come back and they're like, oh, where's Mrs. Hedgehog? Oops. So um, they weren't actually meant to try and cook her. They were just meant to invite her over for breakfast. So there we go. That was our five favorite hedgehog picture books. I hope you enjoyed them. You can also find them over on my blog. I will pop the link in the comments below if you want to check them out in more detail. If you want to leave any comments um, or uh, maybe you know of other hedgehog books you would like to share, that'd be great, love to hear about them. Or if there are any other themes you would like us to do in the future, you can leave a comment about that. And yeah, see you next time, bye.